Okay, we could instantly recognize skin again. Here are some sebaceous glands surrounding hair follicles. Here's the deep reticular dermis. Here's the looser papillary dermis. Here's the epidermis. Here's the stratum corneum. And of course, you're all focusing your attention and not listening to me because you see all of these cells predominantly near the dermal epidermal junction and they look dark. So you're already thinking this is some kind of nevus. And you're correct, it is some kind of nevus. Uh, notice that some of the nevus cells are quite precisely at the dermal epidermal junction. Notice that some of them are within the dermis completely. Notice that even though they may push or attenuate the uh, epidermis, they do not diffuse buckshots into it. This is a nevus. We've already described it properly. Some of the cells are pigmented. Some of the cells are inflammatory. Uh, here are some cells that are nicely pigmented. And so this is going to look like a brown nevus. Here are some cells that don't have much pigment. The thing that I would like to bring to your attention, however, is that once you're at the end of this nevus, which is going to appear hyperpigmented, you are now in an area which doesn't look like it has any melanocytes at all. It look at, it went from hyperpigmented in the area surrounding it to almost apigmented. And for that reason, this lesion on a patient's body might look like it has a little halo around it. And perhaps that's why these are called halo nevuses. There's a nice picture of one and there's its halo. Here's another uh, picture of one, and there's its halo. You have the increased pigmentation, the decreased pigmentation, and then the normal pigmentation. And here's another one as well, and it really looks like a nice little halo there as well. Halo nevus, uh, compound type, because we saw both intradermal as well as junctional activity, so that makes it compound because it's present uh, both at the um, junctional area as well as intradermal. And let me point that out if I can. Here's junctional and here's intradermal. And they're benign. And they, uh, the reason why you know they're benign is because they behave like little angels. And you know that they are behaving like benign little angels because they have a halo around them. Thank you very much.